I think that Europe has really become a driving force of European research. Europe has really been showing a direction, a direction that is telling that research and innovation is at the heart of our development. We have the chance to interact with those, all those different um, scientists, and this has really created, at the scale of Europe, a network of scientists who know each other very well. And when you enter a time of crisis, like the pandemic was, the network is ready. For understanding diseases, it's absolutely critical because it's only through international collaboration that you can prevent those diseases to spread, and that you can also take some mutual action and agreements on prevention, control of even if once the disease is starting to spread. Irony of prevention is that when it works, it seems useless because you prevent an event to happen and then people don't even realize that it's been prevented by your actions. But ultimately, if we understand understand well the conditions under which a virus can jump from those biological systems into the human population, who can prevent those pandemics from happening. And that's really what, what, what we're trying to do. Belgium is really at the crossroad of many cultures that creates a first interesting contrast. One of the traits that we have um, here is um, freedom of research. We have a lot of freedom in this university and in Belgium in what we do, in the direction we want to take. Academic freedom that is absolutely essential to protect the development of knowledge is something that I really valued when I traveled abroad and I value the change that we had in Europe that is an area where this is very well protected.